When you're working out how your website should look, it's always good to have a wireframe or a sitemap. I stress that a lot whenever I do videos or tutorials. But there is a tool that could help you out with that. And we've got it on the screen at the moment. It's called octopus.do. So HTTPS, octopus, as in the animal, dot do. This is really, really simple and easy to use. Now, before I go into it, I just want to show you that there are tons of features with this. By the way, I'm not affiliated to this product. There is a link in the description. It is a non-affiliated link. So whether you use it or do what you want with it is entirely up to you. I'm just showing you something that I came across, which I actually found really, really versatile. Now, there's tons and tons of tips here, right? Okay, and I'm not going to go through all of it, but you've got Visual Site Map Builder. You can visualize with wireframes. You can um, um, change the color of the content. It, it basically allows you to collaborate and create a wireframe. Now, a lot of the features in here, you do have to pay for. And I'm just gonna show you the pricing, but don't run away just yet, okay? Because there is the free version. Can you see that? It's free and you can build your wireframe. The limitation though, is that you don't have access to all of the features. So if you want to start adding like images and stuff into there, you are limited. However, I found that what you got with this was still, in my opinion, really, really good. So what we're going to do is we are just going to refresh this page again. And I'm just going to hit the X sign here. Instantly, we are given a wireframe. We have main page, 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 page. And then we have stuff at the bottom. Now, this does not mean the footer. This could be other pages which you should consider and think about. However, um, they're not kind of on your site map, if that makes sense. So you'll have a cookies page. You might have a 404. You might have a privacy policy, terms and conditions, stuff like that. OK, but here I just want to show you how this works. OK, just watch how versatile this is. We've got header, intro services, latest news. I'm going to get rid of this services news, uh, the latest news. Sorry gone. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit a plus sign. And that's, there you go. I've just added in another page. I'm going to click this page. Okay. And I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to click on the main page and I'm going to hit a plus sign. I've just added in another block. Let me do that all again. Right. Let me get rid of the services. Right. Let me click the title. Let me add in a block. It's now added in a block right there. I'm going to double click that and I'm going to call it a uh, testimonials like that. I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to put it uh, under, well, above the footer like that. I could even click this and change the color of it. Now you are limited to three colors. You would have a bigger range if you had the pro premium versions, but I'm just showing the free one. Let's just put that in purple as well, just for the sake of it, for instance. I don't think you need to have footer on there. If I'm honest, you would have probably have the footer on every page anyway. But let's just say you wanted to think a little bit like that. Now, here's the other really cool thing. If I click on the main page over here, we have comment. So when I click comment, you can't actually add one unless you are kind of um, logged in um, or you've got the pro premium version. However, let me just show you something that I thought was super, super good. Over here, we have sticky note. You click that and you get a sticky note. I can literally drop this anywhere I want. I put it here, here, anywhere I want. And I could now start typing whatever. I could put a URL link in there. I could put the address of an image or I could even mention hero banner will be this image or whatever. This allows me to start mapping out my website. Now I've only touched the cusp of what we're doing here. Um, I can use that to hide the pages below. Now, when I click to add a page, I went for this option here, right? And I just added in a block automatically. But did you notice here it had wireframe as well? So when I click that, I can now decide on maybe it's not just going to be a block. I'm actually going to say there might be like images or a gallery or it might be like a image and then text, you know, just so it creates a memory in my mind of what I'm going to be doing. There are tons more down here that you could go for. Like, look, there's a button or a calendar feature, form, bullets, articles, our team. you got to get the premium version for that. But we're not focused on that. I'm just showing you the free version. So I'm going to click image. And look, I'm now going to click over here and put a uh, team. Team uh, people, <laughs> whatever, you know, my team. So it's almost like you're giving yourself a reminder 
to an extent of what you're going to have in here. And you could add a note in. Look, I can add in more notes. I could add in another note here, for instance. You can't resize it. It'd be nice if you could have done that and you could have like had a connected line for free. I think that would have been really, really nice as well. But look, over here, we have a page. I'm going to click this page and I'm just going to type, I don't know. Let, no, no, let's make it clearer. Let's call it uh, services, for instance. This is showing that from the home page, you will eventually get to the services. I could drop in a block. We'll go for this one here. And I'm going to say uh, case studies, for instance. And I can keep adding blocks as much as I want. I can even go over here underneath this page and add in another page. So we have a sub page from that page. Or I could just go over here and add another page that feeds off the home page. And look, you can, you can be quite creative with this. I'm, I'm just flying through this right now, okay? It's asking me to save because I have not saved. Obviously, you've got to create a login account and you can save this, which is great. You know, you don't have to pay if you just want to do something like this. You can even rearrange how it is viewed from a vertical, sorry, to a vertical view like that. I have to say that I prefer the horizontal hierarchy view because I just like this approach and feel. And if you were sharing this with a customer, like um, you got them to do this. You could even give, say to them, right, go to Octopus Do, right, create your account, whatever, and create your sitemap, right? And then export it or send it to me or take a screenshot, whatever, I don't know, right, however you want to do it. Or you could do it for them and send them back to it. I prefer to do sitemaps as a scribble. I'm sorry, I love to just do scribbles because it's really quick and easy then to quickly rearrange or cut a bit of paper out and stick it on and whatever you want. But if you want to be really um, uh, professional about it, and you want to kind of put across that polished way of doing wireframes and sitemaps, this is super good. It is free, right? I mean, look, you can save it. Um, I mean, look, let's just hit save, right? Let me show you what's going to happen, okay? It's just going to save to a profile. Now, look, you if you want to do a PNG or a PDF, you've got to get the pro version. However, I'm pretty sure Octopus do are not going to like me saying this, but you could, you know, have a think about this, okay? You could open this in Google Chrome. Once you've opened this in Google Chrome or any other application, you could do a big screenshot if you've got a big screen, or you could just go to Google Chrome and do one page uh, screenshot. So it takes the whole page, no matter how big or long it is. So I'm not saying you you shouldn't use the pro premium version, but I think you can get around some of the limitations. I think the Octopus people won't like me saying that, but hey, this is just me letting you know that I think this is really useful. And if you want to make the jump to get the premium version, go ahead and do it, okay? There are loads and loads of features you're going to get access to. I think this is, for me, super, super brilliant when it comes to sitemaps and wireframes now. And I will still be doing scribbles. But if I get a hint that the customer wants something a bit more polished before they move on to signing up or whatever, I'll probably use Octopus too. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'll keep seeing you.